Yes, Abigail Headley from Stabric News. I know I would have asked you this yesterday and you told me that me the meeting was currently ongoing. But given how things turned out so far, is the government not willing to compromise on its position to only negotiate salary increases from 2024 onwards? So, Abigail, that's what we were doing. We were sitting at a table. We have a position. We want to do 2024 onwards. The union has a position. They want to do 2019, 2020, when everybody was home for COVID, 2021, when everybody was home for COVID, 2022, 2023. The fact that we were at a table negotiating that timeline might say there was room for compromise. That's what I thought. We have a very fixed position, 2024 going forward. They have one. We don't want to talk about 2024. We want to talk about 2019 to 2023. We were sitting at a table to see how we could reach that compromise. And when we were at a place of reaching agreement where we could now sit down and start trashing out which years we want to, to look at, when that looked possible, when that looked likely, when that looked like everybody was going to be able to sign on these dotted lines is when the union whipped out a document that they clearly had the day before. It's dated the 13th, but they kept it in their back pocket. And as soon as this thing was about to resolve itself, they whipped out something that they must know is unreasonable. That everybody in this room, if I were to ask your opinion, would say is unreasonable when you're at a conciliation table that the government, the employer, must pay 20% before we can begin this talk. Where else does that happen? 